Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Sunday, January 30th, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Watch Your Step. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to have traps hidden in this puzzle? I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's get started. One across, rock subgenre named for its vocal aesthetic. Oh, um, I don't know music genres that well. Vocal aesthetic. Hmm, and it can't have rock in the name either. Interesting. Twins, e.g. for short? I guess they're probably not talking about the Minnesota Twins. Maybe this could just be siblings for short? Sibs? Yeah. Sight with tech tutorials. Hmm, is it going to be CNET or is it going to be eHow? I think IH would be really strange. So let's go with CNET here. Yeah, those look very good. Apt name for a warrior? <laughs> is that going to be Stu? He's going to be stewing about things he's worried about? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at these other two long acrosses here. Amateur. Hmm. It's not novice. It's not an initiate, right? I don't think that quite makes sense. Hmm. I do like that in prefix though. Grammy for Kendrick Lamar's Damn or Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy. This feels like it's gonna be a theme answer. I think we might have to watch our step on this one. Hmm. Is it going to be best something? Could it be best album? Best album. Well, it looks like it fits pretty nicely. Why would we need to watch our step here? I'm feeling very paranoid due to this puzzle's title. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see if we can confirm this on these shorter downs. Scores for place kickers. That's football, right? Is that going to be field goals? Hmm. I really want that to be field goals. Is this not best album? It wouldn't even be best anything if this was field goals. Hmm. Maybe something tricky is happening. Mental health org. Uh, is this going to be some kind of organization of psychologists? I'm not sure what the abbreviation for that would be. Hmm. They're thumped at supermarkets? Thumped? What is that? Is this going to be like melons? Because I guess you could thump a melon to see if it's ripe, right? <laughs> oh my god, that's so tricky. Okay. Balls could just be orbs, maybe. All right, it looks like album is correct, at least. Rum blank tugger. Cat in cats? I have no idea. It's probably like tum or something. Something that would rhyme with rum. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if there was a T at the end here, this could maybe be in expert. That would make sense. I think we can probably put the M in. Do we have enough information to get this? Oh, is it going to be screamo? <laughs> That's so funny. That's a very funny name for a genre of music. I have heard of that before. So this could maybe be the American Psychologists Association, something like that. And then this is what? An extra point? Is that an abbreviation for an extra point? I guess it could be. Okay. Gets out of a grave situation. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not narrowly escaping a close call. Is this actually going to be about getting out of a grave, like rising from a grave? Like a zombie would? I think it is. It's going to be resurrects, right? That's amazing. I love that clue. Okay. We haven't really gotten an indication of a theme yet. I kind of thought it would be this, but this feels pretty straightforward, actually. Moving toward equilibrium in biology. Um, 
boy, you know, I was just doing some research about this kind of thing when we had isotonic on the puzzle last week. Um, I think it might be like osmosing. Uh, yeah, because some kind of solution moving through a cell wall is osmosis, right? Yeah, I think that might be right. Let's see if we can confirm it. Like a romantic evening stroll, perhaps. Hmm, like a stroll. It's not moseying, right? That doesn't feel quite right. Someone else's error? Oh, right. That is a Latin word, which just means thus, if I remember correctly. It just means this is how I found it. This is not my error. If you're quoting someone and there's an error in it, you can put sick to indicate that the error is in the original quotation. It's not your error. Yeah, okay. Overly simplistic. Hmm, I'm not sure what this should be. Bake off equipment? Is it just ovens, plural? Because equipment kind of trickily can be singular or plural. Yeah, you'd need a lot of ovens to do a bake off. Major blank pro ball player? That has to be major leaguer. Yeah, okay. Like some space saving beds. That has to be folding. Or maybe it's folded? Is that right? I guess that could make sense. They're folded. Disinclined to. Hmm. Is that averse to? Yeah. Shuts down. Hmm. Is this shutting something else down? Or is this someone shutting down themselves? I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? Overly simplistic is going to be facile. If something's facile, it sounds good, but it kind of is lacking depth. Yeah. Okay. OBGYNs, for example. Well, those are doctors. Yeah. Application. Shouldn't that be use? So maybe this is fold up. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then this is use. Royal pain. Hmm. Maybe it's a pest? Like Dennis the Menace would be a royal pain. And then this is ceases. Yeah. Okay. Ledger domain. I love this word. This just means you're using your hands to do magic tricks. Illusions. Yeah. Um, what's another way to say that? I guess it could just be like tricks. Could it just be tricks? Yeah. Close up magic tricks with your hands. Circus apparatus. Well, there's the trapeze. There's three rings. I don't know, there's a lot of apparatus to do with the circus. I guess there's tents also. Laugh or cry, say. I really want that to be emote. Hmm, I wonder if it's not tricks. Old MacDonald had a farm sounds. Hmm. Well, it's not moose. Maybe it's oinks. Huh, I wonder if tricks is right after all. New York City retailer with a famed holiday window display. I guess it's probably going to be abbreviated because NYC is abbreviated. Maybe that could be Saks for Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Styles that are picked informally. Oh my god, is that froze? Like afros because you use a comb to pick them? Oh my god, that's very tricky. Okay, royal figure of sci-fi. Is that gonna be Princess Leia? Was she a royal pain to Darth Vader? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, um, this almost feels like maybe we're gonna run into a trap here. It looks like it should start with flying, right? Flying something. I wonder if we're gonna have a rebus here. Hmm. American abroad. Yeah, that's going to be a yank for a Yankee. Laugh or cry is react. Ah, yeah, it was not emote. Okay. 
tiny foragers. Is that just going to be rats? We would have two R's here. Cause chaos. It seems like that can't be right. Hmm. You know what? We were thinking this was going to be flying, right? So this could be an N. Maybe they're talking about ants. There we go. Okay. I think we can put the G in here too. I don't know what this cause chaos answer is going to be. Hmm. Well, maybe we can get this across here. Insect with distinctive pincers. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to end in bug. I'm not sure if I know what this is going to be. R-A-U seems a little weird. Yeah, maybe it's an earwig. Oh my god, I have heard of that. I think they do have pincers. I want this to be like rain something down on. Yeah, I wanted to start with rain at least. What was this one? Prepares for a Ms. Olympia competition, say. <laughs> Could that be oils up? Yeah, all the bodybuilders oil up before the competition. All right. Camping shelter. Hmm. Is it going to be some kind of tent? I'm not sure. Plato's P. Could that be a row? Halloween decorations that can be made with cotton balls. Hmm. Maybe that's webs. You could make spider webs. Yeah. Capital of Japan's Hyogo Prefecture. I'm going to guess that's Kobe. I don't know that for sure, but that at least would fit in there. Yeah. Hmm. Is it going to start with park? Hmm. Sources of music in musicals. Is it just going to be orchestras? I think that would make sense. Orchestras. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is a flying T. Oh. So maybe there was nothing funny going on here. I'm not sure what a flying T is. Is that some sort of acrobatic apparatus? It sounds like it has to be. Cause chaos. Is it raise havoc? That was an entry not too long ago. Pronoun pairing. Yeah, that could be she, her, right? Maybe it is raise havoc. Hmm. Where is this theme coming into play? We've filled in almost an entire corner of the puzzle. Watch your step. <laughs> I'm so paranoid. Are they going to lull us into a false sense of security and then there's going to be some kind of trap? Oh man, I don't know. Am blank the only one? Hmm. Shouldn't this be I the only one? Am I the only one? Orchestras. It's not orchestras? That's a little weird. Um, hmm. Let's take this out. Let's put I, the in there. Hmm. What's going on here? It might be broken in overtime. Well, the purpose of overtime is to break a tie. Level. That could be a tier. What? Orchestras. Hmm. This is looking very strange. Some skincare products. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Is there something called hers? I want to say maybe we've seen that on a grid earlier. That would make this orchestith. I've never heard of that before. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a dash. That's got to be part of the theme. I think. A luxury Hyundai. Oh, man. Um, is there an Alero? Hmm. I think there might be. What's going on here? E-L? Something very strange is happening in this section. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can puzzle it out with the information we have yet. 
Very weird. You know what? Let's go back over here and get some more stuff filled in and maybe we'll come across another example of a weird dash like this. Horse color. That could be roan. That's when a horse has white hairs mixed in with another color like black or red. Yeah. Ooh, we've got another dash. Interesting. Okay. I'm kind of happy to see that actually. That means this isn't the only example. Okay. That's it? An equivalent phrase? Hmm. What's another way to say that? Anything else? That's much too long. Hmm. What's this long across here? Here's an example. An equivalent phrase. Here's an example. Hmm. I'm not sure. Without stop. Could that be on end? That means something isn't stopping, right? I think that could be right. Splinter group. That's got to be a sect. Waits to publish as an article. I want that to be sits on. Yeah. Only person to win an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony in the same year. 1973. Wow, that's quite a feat. Who could that be? We have almost all of the letters. Hmm. Kitty Blank, stunt performer once known as the fastest woman in the world. <laughs> I have no idea. It looks like it might be Kitty O'Neill, just based on these letters. Loop trains. Yeah, that could be L's in Chicago. Okay. Um. Is this Fosse? He was like a dance person, right? I think. Yeah. I know I've heard people mention this person before. I can't remember his first name, but yeah. Let's put in Fosse here. Let's take a guess at O'Neill, maybe. And then here's an example. Ooh, I mean, I like that it starts with four. Um, hmm. Is this going to be and? Oh, this is for instance. Yeah, that's a very good equivalent. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. All right, can we get these downs? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oints. Oh, hang on a second. I think maybe this explains why this looked a little weird to me. X as an abbreviation for extra points. Yeah, because there's no indication of an abbreviation in the clue here. So it looks like maybe we have R-A-P in this black square here. Almost like it's going into a pitfall here. R-A-P. Extra points. Yeah, this has to be a continuation of this clue up here. Interesting. Okay, so that means this should be the same thing, right? So it's not a flying T. It should be a flying trapeze. Oh, that's great. So I think we have R-A-P again. We have R-A-P. Why is it wrap? And it's watch your step. Hmm. Rap. I guess it could be rap music, or it could be like a rapping sound on like a door. Interesting. Uh, so this was not a Lero. Oh shoot, I have no idea. Um, is this not orchestra? What in the world is this? Sources of music. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let's see if we can confirm that these two letters are right in orchestra. Heavy Metals, Prince of Darkness. Hmm. I would want that to be maybe Ozzy Osbourne. Um, is that how you spell his name? It could be. Camping Shelter. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Maybe we can work down through here. Four-limbed animals? <laughs> I mean, aren't most animals four-limbed? What in the world? Oh, is this going to be a theme answer? Yeah, it is. That's why it looks so strange. So it's going to have 
wrap in here. I wonder if that could be Tetra Peds. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, Tetra Peds. There we go. Raiders of the Lost Ark Biter. It's gonna be an ass. Okay. Subject for some future bilinguals. That'll be English as a second language. Brewing Brothers. Hang on a second. TP. Uh, that looks really weird. Is it not tetrapeds? Or wait, should it be tetrapods? I don't know actually. Hmm. What is this one? Oh, okay, yeah. This is looking like it's gonna be moonlit. Okay. Second rate. Hmm, so it's something that's not very good. I don't know. What is this? Is this right, TP? AL East Squad, abbreviated. Okay, this is gonna be a baseball team. Um, it's not the Mets, they're in the NL. Maybe it could be the Yankees? Could it be the New York Yankees? Like the Yankees up here? It could be. Hmm. It could also be like Boston or something. Hmm, I don't know. Decreased? It's not decreasing in number. There's a hyphen here. I guess you're ironing if you're decreasing something in this way. Yeah, so it's not gonna be New York Yankees. This is gonna be ironed. What other AL East teams could we have here? I'm not great with the AL teams. Could it be Baltimore? Hmm, I'm not sure. Stopover. Is this another theme answer? No, it's not. Maybe it's gonna be an in? Hmm. Interesting. Fluster, that could be a nerve. Just like this pitfall of a theme kind of unnerved me, yeah. Traffic control org. Oh, this is tricky. This is not about like the FAA or something, that kind of traffic control. I think this is about an organization that's controlling the traffic of drugs. That'll be the Drug Enforcement Agency. Okay, long time record label. Oh man, is that RCA? I know they're a record label. What gets filled at a shell station? <laughs> this is wordplay, so they're not talking about gasoline. This is not capitalized. Okay, I think they're gonna be talking about tacos here. That kind of shell. Okay, so is this gonna be a pack tent? I don't think I've heard of that before. It does kind of make sense though. It'd be a tent that you could pack and carry, I guess. And then this'll be two bit. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What is this? O-R, is that Toronto? I guess it's the Blue Jays, yeah. They're definitely in the AL East, okay. Hmm. Power up. Power up, is that switch on? Yeah, so what is this? Tea Pists? Brewing Brothers. Something has to be wrong here. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take a letter out here just so we remember to come back to this. It just looks so strange. Yeah, for now I think we should just keep moving on. Hornswoggle, <laughs> I love this word. Uh, if you hornswoggle someone, you're kind of getting one over on them. Um, it could be like dupe, although, well, we're not sure about tetrapeds now or tetrapods. I guess it could be something else. Dupe, hmm, I don't know. Give the blank? Hmm, I'm not sure about this either. Huh. Still the blank Trina title track of 2008. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, we're gonna need more help on that one. One using cloves or garlic. Um, 
I guess it's just a spicer. <laughs> Are you a spicer whenever you're adding spices to your meal? A in Berlin. That's going to be ein. That's the word for A in German. Tabuli topping? Um, hmm, I'm not sure. I haven't really had tabouleh before, I don't think. Chandelier Singer, 2014. Um, I think that was Sia, wasn't it? I want to say it was. And maybe this is tahini. Ooh, yeah. That's like a sesame sauce. Okay. Put on ice. So you're storing something? Hmm. This is kind of looking like it might be a superlative. It could end in EST. Um, put on ice. Ugh, I'm not sure. Slice for one. This is pretty ambiguous. I guess this could be talking about slice the soda. Could it be an orange soda? It is, that's so funny. It could have been like golf. It could have been a slice of pizza. That's a very tough clue, I like that one. Okay, um, hornswoggle. Ugh, I don't know. This kind of looks like it wants to be baddest, right? Give the nod, oh man, that's so tricky. Okay, um, boy. It is really looking like this is wrong, right? Yeah, maybe it was tetrapods? Although, you know what? I think rook is a word for swindling someone. If you got rooked, yeah. Boy, that's another tricky bit of vocabulary there. So this is kept, put on ice. That makes a lot of sense, but where would you keep it? Kept back, maybe? I don't know. Disco blank, iconic garment for Lady Gaga. Well, it's probably gonna start with a B. I don't know, is it a disco bib? What other kind of garment could fit here? Oh, maybe it's a disco bra. That would make sense for Lady Gaga, yeah. Okay, kind of squash, that could be acorn. Annexes, is that gonna be ads? Could be. Rube Goldberg machines, e.g. So they're an example of this. Rube Goldberg machines are like those very elaborate contraptions that do kind of very simple things. I think Mousetrap would be an example of one of those. Hmm. What would they be an example of? I'm not sure. Like some vaccines. I guess they could be oral. I think there's oral vaccines. Hairstyle protectors. Is that going to be do-rags? Kind of test. I guess you could have a DNA test. Oh, is this weird because it's a theme answer? Yeah, okay. Um, is this contraption? Oh, are they spelling this with an O? I think I usually see it with a U. So this is going to be contraptions. Um, how do you spell that? Is it a T? I think that's right. Okay, contraptions. That looks good. I still don't know why we have a wrap in our black squares here. Marilyn Monroe wore a fuchsia one while singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. A fuchsia one. Um, this seems a little weird. STL. Are we running into theme issues again? Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of trying to picture her singing it. I know I've seen this image before. Was it the dress she was wearing? I don't know. I can't remember. Board figure informally. Like a corporate board, maybe? That could be an exec? Yeah. Annual Austin Festival familiarly. That's South by Southwest, okay. Uh, hmm. One being coddled, maybe? So are they talking about like a kid, a child? 
I don't know. Maybe this is kept cold. Oh man, it's about literally putting something on ice. Hmm. Literary protagonist raised by wolves. That would be Mowgli, right? From the Jungle Book? So, is this an egg? Oh, I guess a chicken could like coddle an egg, maybe. What in the world is happening here? What? <laughs> I can't even parse this. Oh man. Small Nintendo console once. Um, is it gonna be some version of the Wii, like the Wii Mini? I don't know if I've ever heard of that, but this could be a gown, right? Wait a minute. Wait just a darn minute. This could be a strapless gown. Oh my God, they don't just go down strap. They go down on the acrosses also. They are like little pitfalls. Strapless gown. Oh my God, okay. Um, so maybe that explains why we were having so much trouble here. This should be tetrapods. So that means this should be a T and this is trappists. Trappists. That sounds vaguely familiar. I don't know if it's a brand or what, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be right. We can put our T back in here. Um, that means, I guess this is why we were having so much trouble here. Yeah. So it is orchestra pits. Oh my God. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. That was so, so tricky. It happens on both the across and the down. Okay, well, that cleared up all of our questions, so that's a bit of a relief there. I'm still not sure why it's the word rap, but yeah. Um, maybe this is gonna be Sera, the plural of serum. It's a generic skincare product. And then this could be a Zera. I don't think I've ever heard of that, but let's go ahead and put it in. Nice, okay, we got it figured out. I think we're finally pretty much solid on the theme, except for why the letters are RAP. But yeah, hopefully we'll get like a revealer maybe? That'll explain that. Oh, wait. Wait, the explanation is just staring us right in the face. It's not just RAP, right? It's always under the letter T. They're traps, <laughs> T-R-A-P, right? Under orchestra, it's under the T. Under trappists, it's under the T. And under strapless gown, it's under the T. Oh my God. It was about traps after all. I cannot believe it. That's so funny. Yeah, having the T outside of the trap really threw me off. Yeah, prevented me from seeing that that's exactly what it was. That's so funny. All right, well, we got that figured out. Let's see if we can maybe uncover one more, probably. Recipe unit. I guess it could be one cup. This is too much. Hmm, it seems like it should be I can't something. Lacking any adulteration. It's not pure. Hmm, this isn't a theme answer, right? No. Hmm. I'm not sure. Zing? Could that be pep? Beverage that was a medieval source of nutrition. I want that to be ale. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe this is like teaspoon? Could that be right? I don't know if that really makes sense either. Hmm. The Sound of Music household. Okay, um, well that was the Von Trapps, right? <laughs> they literally have the word trap in their name. So a red flag definitely is going up here. 
I wonder if it's going to be Von Trap Family. Yeah, let's see if that fits. Von Trap Family. Nice, okay. And then maybe the reason this is weird was because it's actually a theme answer. Yes, that's right, okay. Um, so I guess it's gonna start with Ultra Pure. Could that be Ultra Pure? I think that sounds really good actually, yeah. Um, and then that lets us put in one cup. I can't something? Hmm, I don't know how it's gonna end. I can't go? Cries in a tattoo parlor? Is it just owls? <laughs> I guess tattoos are pretty painful. Blank one, Yuri Gagarin's spacecraft. Oh man, what was the name of his spacecraft? Um, I can't remember. Turn one's back on. That should be disown. Yeah, and that does give us the we here. So that's good. University of Montana City. So it's gonna be a city in Montana. I don't really know Montana cities very well. Hmm, is it Missoula? I think that's a city in Montana, yeah. So this is just, I cannot. <laughs> I guess we're talking to a robot, I cannot. Yeah, it sounds like Commander Data. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know. Some bank deposits? I'm not gonna fall into this trap. This is definitely a misdirection here. They're not talking about a financial bank. This is a river bank. And those deposits are gonna be silts. Very nice. Maybe it is the Wii Mini. What else could it be? Yeah. Suffering from a losing streak in poker slang. Oh man, um, I don't really know poker slang very well. I wanna say it's like on tilt. I know if you're tilted in poker, you're kind of playing angrily because you've had bad luck. I wonder if that's related. Road goo, yeah, that could be tar. March Madness trophy. I think the teams that win usually take the net as a trophy. It's not a real trophy, yeah. Pelicans home informally. I think the Pelicans are a NBA team, aren't they? Um, I think they're in New Orleans, so that would be NOLA informally. Yeah. Camping shelter, another camping shelter. This is definitely gonna be a lean-to to go with our pack tent. So I think this is Vostov. Is that right? Vulnerable. That could be at risk. Oh no, it's Vostok, man. I just had no memory of that at all. Okay, so this is at risk for vulnerable. That's good. Horned creature? There's a horned toad. Yeah. Ape-like. That should be Simeon, I think. Fielding, co-host of The Great British Bake Off beginning in 2017. Uh, I've never watched this show. I know people are crazy about it. I have no idea who this is. Foul mood. Could that be a snit? Sign of resistance. I would want that to be an ohm. Oh, you know what the symbol for an ohm is? It's omega. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, maybe this is Noel, one who may have attachment issues. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a person with psychological attachment issues. I think this is going to be an emailer. Yeah, somebody that can't attach something to an email. So that leaves us with Inga for bus stop playwright. I'm glad we got that on crosses. I have never heard of that person before. And then we have Tsar for Romanov ruler. Yeah, the ruler of Russia before they were sending astronauts up in spacecraft. Yeah, okay. Girl in a tartan. So this is gonna be a Scottish girl. That'll be a lass. Frothy coffee invented in Greece. I wonder if that's gonna be a frap. I don't know that for sure. I don't really know much about coffee. Oh, look at this. This looks like we might've just hit our revealer here. We have the word trap. Yeah. I wonder if this is gonna be like trap doors. Let's see what this ends up being. 
secret exits represented five times in this puzzle's grid. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be trapdoors. That's great. That was a really fun theme to uncover. We kind of got bits and pieces of it as we went. It kind of felt like we got the down first, then we got the across, and then we finally got the fact that the word trap was in the theme, and then we got the revealer, trapdoors. That was a very nice progression there. Okay, advocates. I guess it could be advocates also, but it's looking like it's going to be the verb. It looks like it wants to be espouses. Yeah. Most likely to inspire thirst. And thirst is in quotes, so we're not talking about wanting to drink water. I think this is going to be a slang term for sexual interest. So I think this is going to be sexiest. That would inspire that kind of thirst, right? Sexiest, okay. So we have docs, maliciously reveal personal info about online. Yes, that's a modern phenomenon. We have the French we, oui, my we. Oui. I don't know what this means. Is that why yes? Hopefully the goose can fill us in on that one. Um, let's see if we can get some of these answers on the down up here. Spring month in France. Uh, I guess it could be May. Is that M-A-I, I, I want to say? I think that might be right. Laces into. Hmm. Is that rips into? Like you're berating someone? Is that what laces into means? I don't know if I've heard this before. Let's see if this is a P. One to be dethroned. Um, hmm. Like a royal person somehow? Dethroned. I don't know about that. Build as interest. Is that a crew? Now we're talking about money in a financial bank. Yeah. Uh, okay, so does that help here? The C? Dethroned. Hmm. I'm still not sure about that one. Blank president. Could that be Madam President, possibly? Expansive work of art, usually. That sounds like it could be a mural. Disreputable. That seems like it should be seedy, doesn't it? Maybe it's not madam. What else could it be, though? Hmm. I don't know. Goddess in a peacock-drawn chariot. Hmm. It sounds pretty cool. I don't know if I know who that is. Monthly condition for short. <laughs> Is it going to be PMS, premenstrual syndrome? All right, let's look at this down here. Incline. That looks like it should be predispose. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice entry there. So is it really not madam? It really seems like it has to be. Hmm. I guess this should be an M. What is this going to be? Is it seamy? Disreputable. Is that right? I don't know if I'm familiar with that word. Oh, this is going to be a champ. Yeah, you'd want to dethrone the champ in sports, right? So it was rips. Very interesting. Laces into. I guess this is Hera? And this is Seamy. S-E-A-M-Y. Interesting. I wonder if I've seen that word before, Seamy. Sounds vaguely familiar, but all right, let's see if we can finish this corner down here. Weasel word, and this is more wordplay. Weasel word, so this is not like a politician's weasel word. Is this a word that would apply literally to a weasel? I don't know. Minor discoveries? This is M-I-N-E-R. It's not about a small discovery, it's about something someone digging in the earth would find. I guess they would find ores. That's a pretty cute clue there. And then relative of hey, that should be pst, right? When you're trying to get someone's attention. So this is pop. Oh, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> That's pretty funny too. All right, let's put that P in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 52 minutes. That seems to be about bang on average for us. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that, especially considering how tricky this theme was. 
Oh, I see. Um, interesting. So they're putting the traps in rebuses here. They're not trying to continue them through. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense if you imagine it as like a trap door that kind of like flips open and then the down clue kind of continues through. Yeah. Yeah, that actually is kind of even cooler um, when you think about it that way. Yeah, that is pretty great. Strapless gown, Von Trap family. Yeah, these were all really fun. Um, I had never heard of Trappists. That's interesting. I'm going to assume that's like a brand of beer. But yeah, I think overall, as Sunday puzzles go, this was definitely on the trickier side. Um, the theme, of course, was fairly tricky. It was very enjoyable. I really liked it. Um, but the cluing in general was just very tricky, too. Um, something like this, this hidden capitalization for a slice. We had some unindicated wordplay or misdirection for silts here. Yeah, we had some fun kind of rare vocabulary. We had facile. I like that one a lot. We learned see me, or at least I learned see me. I loved both the clue and answer for Rook. Hornswoggle, that is a fantastic word. Hopefully that shows up as an entry someday. That's really fun. But yeah, both of these are good to know. And I loved the clue for Resurrect. Gets out of a grave situation. That would be a perfect clue for a Halloween puzzle. Man, I hope this wordplay clue gets resurrected at some point in October, yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed falling victim to a bunch of dastardly trapdoors along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time.